Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the nation you're watching me from, how are you? It's another day, another week, yet with an amazing, amazing, amazing episode. So, wherever you're watching me from, thank you for joining. Thank you for your love. Thank you for liking my videos, commenting, sharing. If you're new here, please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And I will appreciate, I will be happy. Make sure you do something in this channel before you log out. So today's episode is extra anxiety. Because we are looking at the men that are likely to cheat on a woman. <laughs> so today, we are looking at the men that are likely, not 100%, whatever I'm about to share, but probably, you, probability is 80%, 90% to cheat on you. So that is what we're going to look today. Are you even ready for this? Grab that seat and take a glass of juice and let's do this. Mm -hmm. So if you're a lady in a relationship, maybe you're dating or maybe you're married and uh, there are things that you don't understand about your spouse, about your man, let me point out a few pointers that may show this guy is likely cheating on you. Remember, I'm not saying it's 100%, but probability is there. I'm not an expert on relationship issues. I'm just using what I have. I'm using my career and my calling, you know, to bring together a few things just to, you know, to help people here and there. And I know this one will be of great help. I am a counselor by profession, I'm a pastor, I'm a priest. So, people come to me and people look for help, you know, and uh, these are the things over years or over months we capture here and there and, you know, when you join them, they make a dot and a dot and a dot and a dot and finally, finally they make a line. So, you analyze things through experience, through even going to class and through the calling of God. So number one thing that will show if you're dating this guy and he is keeping you a secret, that is number one thing to show that this man, probably, he is cheating on you. Because why should he keep you a secret? Why? Why should he, why he should he keeps you a secret from the significant people, you know, the people that matters in his life. And uh, we know that men, they love showing all their women if they, they love you. They want, you. they want to hear from their mother. They want to hear from their sisters. They want to hear from their brothers, you know, the significant people in their life. They want to hear what they will say, the compliment they will give you as their woman. So if he keeps you a secret, there is another one that he's showing off. So if a guy is keeping, I'm not saying like uh, maybe you start dating and he's all over showing you everywhere. No. For example, you have dated for a year, but he's not showing you to people that matters. Mm -hmm. He's married to you, but he will never take you anywhere. He will never take you. You don't know even where he works. You don't know his friends. You don't know nothing nothing and you know some we enter in marriage layer the calm we stay one so you didn't even ha happen to uh to go to their place for dowry for introductions and all that maybe you met in nairobi canairo and you started staying together so you find he has taken one year two years you have given even birth but you are still a secret in his life likely he has another woman <laughs> okay, another point is that when he's not or he's less affection, affectionate with you, like his affection is divided or he's not there at all, 
Uh-huh. So he might be having another person that he's showing off to his parents, to his people, significant people. Or maybe one day, one time, he will probably cheat on you. But as I said earlier, this is not to measure that a man is cheating on you. You cannot enter into a man's life today. You are dating today, two weeks down the line. You want everybody to know you want to be taken to be taken home, you want to be taken to his friends, you want to know everything about him. I'm not saying that. I'm saying when you are dating and the time has come, you know there is that time that comes that now things need to go to the next level. You know the parents need to meet you, the brothers, sisters, the people that are significant. I'm not talking about social media. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. If your boyfriend is not posting you on social media, it doesn't mean that he's cheating on you. I'm talking about people that matters. Family members, close friends, those people that matters in his life, the significant. Because, you know, social media is good and it's bad. For me, I've learned through experience. And uh, I came to realize if you have a man or a woman and you are happy, happily dating, married, and maybe uh, you are not a social media figure or public figure. You know, you, you just want to keep it secret. Like you don't want your wife to be known, your children to be known. There are people that are not influencers. They are not in public. They are not public figures. They keep, they want to keep their family out of social media. That is very healthy. I learned it out of experience. Yeah, the more you keep them a secret from media, social media is bad, though, the better. So don't tell your husband or your wife, I mean, or your boyfriend, why are you not posting me? Why are you? If he is not that kind of a man, there are men that I know out here, they are public figures, and we don't know their wives. We don't know how they look like. You know, there is a saying that says, if it makes you happy, keep it private. Me, I'm not talking about social media and I'm not talking about people, everybody. I'm talking about the people that are significant in this man's life, the people that matters. If the time has come for you to be introduced, the time has come for you to know people in his life, that is when I'm saying, if it doesn't happen and for sure the time is right, know that something is wrong. Are we together until the I think and I hope I've clarified so don't attack your man tonight telling him hey hey you don't show me off no don't another point is that if the man is less you know affectionate like he don't care he's from work he don't care how was your day he don't care how you you are you you are your day went your job, if you're a business, you don't care how is your business doing, how are you doing, how was your day today, how are you doing, they don't like compliment you, you're looking amazing, they, they, they have lost, you know, touch, that touch with you. If you're married, for example, the married people, you find he's not interested again in bed, is, mm -hmm. you know, he can stay a week, let me tell you, and you're married. Eh? The men that we live with, the men that we know. He stays one week, two weeks, and he's your husband. Sleeping in the same house, the same bed, something is wrong. Something is wrong. So if a man's, you know, affection changes or it is not there or it is less, this man, probability of cheating, it could very high. Maybe he is, you know, calculating on how to cheat or he's already doing it or in the future he will do it okay so if your boyfriend if your husband have that character like he don't care about you he's not hmm, can I call it romantic I don't know whether to call it romantic but you know the affection the affection that men has towards women so another point is when the woman this guy is dating or this guy is married to is the breadwinner. Mm -hmm. When this man is not working. 
I'm not saying that the man lost his job yesterday and then you are already condemning, you're already judging, you're already saying no. Uh, he can lose a job. For example, he's working and it happens his job is no longer there. One month, two months, three months down the line, yeah, it's, it's okay. But you will tell a man that is trying, a man that is trying will go out there, look for work. A man that is trying, he will do vibarua, you know, the casual jobs that comes his way, at least to make sure he put food on the table. If he's a married man, for example, if you're dating, he will make sure that he, he works hard even, you know, to even if he's not able to take you out the way he used to angalau he's trying but you find if this guy is not caring about working he's comfortable he's just there he sleeps watch tv eat your food you know and he he's just there probability big probability is that he will cheat why because the nature of a man, the way they are created, they are the providers. They are the ones to bring food. They are the ones to provide. They are the ones to give. Okay? Women will receive. Men gives. So, if this man, this man for real, he is just there sitting and he's not even caring. A whole year, two years, two years, three years down the line. I'm telling you, he, why, why will this man cheat? This man that you, you are the breadwinner, why will he cheat? Because he wants to feel a man enough. You know, a man is created by God to protect, to bring security, to, to, to provide. So when he's not doing that, the ego of a man may feel somehow violated or somehow down. So for him to feel he's still a man, he will do this. He will sleep around with other women out there for his ego to keep on building and he feels, I am a man. <laughs> Until there, are we together? Uh, have you digested that? So, these are pointers. I'm not saying they're 100% sure, but probability is very high. Okay? Long distance relationship. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, you are dating, one is in Kisumu, the other one in Mombasa. Or maybe a transfer comes from work and this guy has to move or you, or you have to move and go, you know, far. Or this guy is in abroad and you are here in Kenya. This relationship, I'm not saying all long distance relationship fail. No, 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 no. Don't get me wrong, but probability is very high because this guy is out there. For example, he is married, you are married. He gets a transfer. He is used to you. He's used to making love to you. He's used to holding you at night. He's used to seeing you in the morning making breakfast. You know, he, he, this guy is used to you, around you and having you. And now he's gone. Six months down the line, one year down the line, one year and a half, my friend. And this guy was used to having sex or making love. Men are not wired as women. I'm not saying even women, they don't cheat. Also women cheat. But men, the way their bodies, they are wired by God is very different from women. A man can be aroused just by looking at a lady, just by looking at a beautiful woman. Just, even, he, he, even imagine, he don't know this lady. They have never met, but this woman is hot and the guy just happened to look at her. And all of a sudden, you know what? Everybody is up and down, everything is up and down. But as women, uh, we are not sexually aroused by just seeing we, we are we are wired differently so this man imagine you are married he goes out there three years four years down the line he was used to having you and now he's out there without you hmm? Hmm? <laughs> so probability it's very high 
So the best thing is um, if he's supposed to go and is a must and a must, you people try to be together. Yes. Try to look for visas. Try to, you know, try to re- you, re- you, you, you unite. Reunite. Uh-huh. If you are dating long distance relationship, um, some they work, but the biggest percentage they don't. Because, you know, this is a person with blood and flesh. Sio mbao na sio chuma. Ama namna gani? Eh? Ama nasema aji. Sini ukweli? <laughs> Wale mshai jaribu. By the way, do this. Wale mshai jaribu long relationship, uh, long distance relationships. Ebutu wambieni. Tell us, tell us. If you are dating someone, akombali. Tell us, how faithful are you? How many times are you tempted? Uh, tell us. Kama we umeolewa ama umeoa and you know the distance. Let us know. Let us feel your thoughts. Bring them here on the comment. Uh, to this key at Asisi. But in short I want to say this. Uh, if a man is dating you or married to you and they are very far from you. You know men are driven by what they see. Probability is very high very very high so what do you do if you are in Kisumu and Mombasa try to look uh, try to visit as much as possible connect as much as possible or even you know relocate um, kama ni possible ama namna gani relocate mm. another point this one is hot this one is a bomb if your man has a best friend female in that matter a female best friend ati this is my best friend my friend my girlfriend hey you're in trouble men men don't have best friends as female just like that <laughs> eh, i am telling you the truth there is a as i was watching another article i can't really remember but i i was watching and men were discussing men to men it was a talk show men to men and men were like they were being as men uh, you are married or you have a girlfriend can you keep a best friend female and every man said no how how to this is my best friend she will come maybe she comes in my house cook for me for example let's say maybe you are dating and you are not living together with uh, uh, nearby your man and this man has a best friend a female best friend and this female best friend will check in in his house cook for him maybe he will she will pick him go to work together maybe they work together drop him in the evening or she's dropped by him in, in the evening Mm-mm. best friend and those men i was watching and they said nothing like that if you see a man saying this is my best friend openly and automatically know that this man is interested to this woman or maybe they have a thing sometimes even they maybe they are sleeping together <laughs> so if your husband your boyfriend has a best friend female best friend high probability is that that one is a co-girlfriend or a co-wife <laughs> oh my goodness eh Ladies, let's talk. Would you love your man to have a best friend female? Let me know your thoughts. Are you okay with your man having a best friend female? Are you okay? Are you all right? I know some of you will say, me I'm not insecure. Me I'm not insecure. I'm not talking about insecurities here. I'm talking about your man having a best friend you know what is best friend best friend is not just a friend best friend is best friend a friend that he can share things with emotional things with marital things with relationship things with that is the best friend we are not talking about just a friend so let me know ladies are you okay with your man having a best friend female as for me me i'm not okay At the hey, pro. Yes, me I'm not okay. You you are my man. Don't have a best friend female. Hey, me I am I'm not 
insecure but i'm jealous hey how my man having another best friend how onani venye mnani chekelea wewe ukipata hati yako na best friend utafanya aje okay let's continue let's do this this is not my video uh, but i was sharing my the last one but now the least if your man is workaholic this man that works during the day during the night he carries his laptop in his bed munalala bado anakuambia babe there is something i have to finish yani he is in office in the office you call him at 8 pm still working 9 pm babe i'm almost done i'm almost done let me tell you these men know they also have needs as men live alone as a cat they have needs as men and they don't work with men only they work with women so this man is too much into his work as if he's married into his work number one, if he's work, work workaholic he he will not have your time yes that is number one. so there is not that hanging out together no much of bonding you will not bond you will be like you know strangers in this relationship maybe you are married but you don't see him unamwonanga usiku asubuhi mapema ametoka who is taking care of his needs the needs of the man who is doing it if this man gets into work very early come very late very tired by the way he comes very tired and tell you you know babe i've been working for 12 hours i've been working for 13 hours today was very hectic today was yes once in a while these men go through tough moments at work maybe in business and all that once in a while you'll come home very tired you don't want anything you don't want to talk but this is every day every day every day every day of the calendar every day every day every week every week every month hey my girlfriend eh angalia vizuri what is happening so if a man is too much into work and his affections are not there he is not willing to hang out with you like even weekend and work saturday nakwambia ni half day anaenda anarudi saa 11 na hiyo saa 11 nakwambia you know babe nataka kupitia pale kwa my boys eh tupewe one for the road two for the road na ni saa 5 na anakuja saa 5 za usiku sande the same hey my friend eh in short i'm saying if this man is workaholic and he has no your time know that there is a woman who is taking care of the needs of a man but i'm not saying it's 100% please oh, mm, don't crucify me i'm saying there is a probability or possibility or likely all right so as i said mimi si your coach na si your expert but i've given you these few points not everything actually because i cannot give everything but these few pointers they will help you and if you find your man your boyfriend fiance husband with this kind of things i have been talking about 2 3 4 5 of them you need to watch out you need to look you need to talk you need to sit down and put things on the table and talk and that way it will help ama namna gani mine is to wish your relationship well mine is to wish you well thank you for joining me till we meet again with another exciting episode i am your host pm prophetess monica make sure you share like comment to comment here apo ivo tuambie what do you think about this video eh what i have spoken about what i have said what is your take and all that if you are new subscribe 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 please thank you till we meet again god bless you make sure you watch my food videos preaching videos cooking videos and everything press that button so that you will be notified when we upload something ninawapenda sana sana god bless you